All right. Um, let's talk about how we can utilize uh, Inkscape to edit images that is created by MATLAB or any other softwares and how we can create vector images here. All right. So in MATLAB, let's create a simple figure and see what we can do with that. I'm, I'm satisfied with this and we will save this one and we would like to save this thing as a figure test and want this thing to be saved as a MATLAB figure file. Okay. That way you can edit this later and also save this thing as an SVG file, scalable vector graphics file so that we can import this thing into Inkscape. Okay. So, so what I recommend for my students is we would like to save this as a figure file. So later on, you can edit this thing again, your, your data file, you can zoom in, or you can change the color here. If you want, put a marker, change the color, right click, line style, make a dash, can change the color as well, like, I don't know, hot pink, magenta, and make the line thick as well. So you, you can you can edit these here in MATLAB by saving this as a, as a figure file, okay? And you also want to save it as a SVG file so that you can import this thing into uh, Inkscape. And on Inkscape, you want to open it up and let's see, this one here, I'll just drag and drop that figure. And you can use your wheel to scroll up and down from your mouse. And with the control, as you scroll up and down, it will zoom in and out. With shift, it will move left and right. And with without pressing any keys, it will just move up and down, okay? So I want you guys to just remember, control or shift will do something special for you. As you right click, you can ungroup this thing because um, the figure will be uh, grouped as a single chunk. And so in order to edit this, you will really want to ungroup this one. Or instead of clicking multiple times, you can select that one and control shift G will ungroup it. And you will want to do this multiple times so that all the elements are going to be ungrouped. Once you ungroup it, you can click this and you can clearly see there is a background uh, and generally MATLAB provides these backgrounds so you will want to get rid of those and it will help you when you're selecting these elements so let's zoom in and you can select this one you can move it around or you can make it large and by dragging like that you can change the size and also if you hit control it will uh, keep the ratio right and this is highly recommended. Of course, you can move it around like that as well. So control, like I said, control or shift does something special. So if you don't really remember which one is which, just you can try, okay? So here you can make it large. And this can be one of the steps we can try. So we can make all these, select all these like that and this one as well. And we can make them all larger. So we can make them all larger like that, right? So it, it, it enhances our visibility. And then we can move these, these guys down. And also as you move these up and down, if you, with the control key uh, pressed, it will only move vertically or horizontally. It will not move in a weird direction. So it locks um, the object to be moved only in the vertical or horizontal direction. So that's also a handy function. So you can roughly align these like that. And once you have those aligned, you can carefully select them, right? And you can uh, align those, align to the front or the back, the center align, you can align them. And also one easy thing to try is to select this thing 
and then use my cursor key to move it up and down and have this top one align and let's have this bottom one align at, at the center like this and the middle ones are misaligned a little bit like that but what we can do is you can select all these have those distributed with um, equal distance like that then it becomes a little bit easy for you to manage the the numbers being aligned like that okay and you can do the same thing for your horizontal axis as well and in case you want to type in something you can click this icon there and you can type in so the vertical axis mm, this was uh, like uh, velocity let's say and once you have it selected of course with this uh, activated you can change the font and size and all those things right and if you hit control and rotate it the angle it rotates is uh, locked by I think it's 30 degrees so uh, that's also a, a pretty handy tool so once you have it like this you can you can change the size like that and then put it over here and I'm good and I can copy and paste then move it over here again and rotate this thing and move this thing over here and call it time in second something like this all right and of course you can duplicate whatever object you have and then move it over there and you can name it data one let's say and you can duplicate this thing and then put it over there and and double click this guy to call it data two and if you want to change the color of this one you can just select this guy and you can just change it to what you want, right? Or if you want to find the exact color of this line, then you can select this tool and go over here, click it, then it will automatically be updated. Well, seems like this is not selected well so here let's go this again and then we select this point and we can update the color like that and zoom out again and do the same thing for this one i want to make it red so let me zoom in a little bit select this color and the color is updated okay so just like that you can, you can change these and if you want to change the property of the line okay you can group this so that they will move individually like this. And let's say I want to change the property of this line, then go to stroke style and make it an and dash line. And I'll make it a little bit thicker, like 0.5 millimeter, something like that. You can, you can easily change the, 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 the property of the lines. And let me make it dash dot. And I want to make this one a little bit thicker as well, just like that. So by doing this, the visibility of your graph becomes a little bit better, okay? So once you are satisfied with all your edits, you can save this. Here we can save it as a test figure and the format is SVG. So later on, you can open this, this SVG file and all your edits are gonna be here and you can update those if you want to, okay? And for using these for any presentations or um, papers, you will also want to export this thing or save these as a, a different file format. So for importing these into Microsoft and still keep this as a vectorized image, you will need to save this one as a EMF file, an enhanced meta file. And let's say we save this thing as a test figure and just hit OK. And once you have that saved as an EMF file, then all you will have to do is just drag and drop. OK, so 
once you have it uh, loaded into Microsoft, you can save this thing as a PDF. And once you have that PDF, your PDF will look like this. And because we used an EMF file, as you zoom in, you see the image is, is keeping its, its look as a vector image. So even though you zoom in, it's going to remain crisp and clear. And once you are done with this edit, thing you may want to try is create a background like this. So by using this uh, create rectangle and squares, you can easily create something. And I would like to change the fill color instead of having that red color. I'd like to make it white, right? And I would like to get rid of that stroke, uh, the, the boundary. And what I would like to do is I would like to move it uh, to the back layer. So page down is the key that moves this thing, this layer to the back. If you want to bring it front, page up is the key as well. Now it seems like everything is above the background we have. And I'll slightly adjust the size so that it will just keep the information that I'm interested in like that. And then you will want to select everything you have here. And you will want to go to document property. And from here, you can resize uh, the page to the drawing or you, the selection you have. And once you do that, the canvas you have got just fit to the image you selected, right? So once you're done with your edit, you can select the area that you would like to export and then hit this export to PNG. And for printing like big posters, I highly recommend you have greater than a 300 DPI. So that and export as you can find the name, big test like that. And once you export it, then you can open it up. And then here we have that figure shown up there. And we can use this thing in any, in any presentation or in, in any documents. However, this is a raster image. So if you zoom in, you, you won't be able to see that crisp and clear image, unfortunately. OK, so here it shows how we can import image that is created from MATLAB into uh, Inkscape. And we can improve the image quality by doing a little bit of edits here and there. And then we can save this thing as an EMF file so that it can be utilized in uh, Microsoft Word to create vectorized uh, images over there. Or we can also export this thing as a PNG or other raster image formats to be utilized in some other applications. Okay, thank you.